a lot of my sculptures do with my childhood memories, my feelings, my way of thinking, my, me being an Israeli. But it's also very important for me to express social uh, themes. You can really see, I think, I hope, in my, some of my sculptures, the fact that I'm an Israeli. So there is the personal story, the Israeli story, and also the human uh, international story. I think the international experience and me showing my Israeli art out of my country, it's important for me personally. I feel that I think I'm a joyful person and I hope I have a sense of humor. But on the other hand, I lost my, my sister when I was very young and everyone has his own sadness inside and this is, I think, the soft point in me. So some people will see the sense of humor in my art and the others will notice the pain. I take plain iron, like flat sheets or tubes or profiles and I cut them, forge them, weld them, and but each one is so different than the other one. Creating is like giving birth. I think it's very feminine, whatever material you choose. So I think when you really look at my sculptures, I hope people can see a woman uh, made them. People see a lot of meaning uh, of Holocaust in my art, even when I didn't mean it. It's because of the rusty iron. It's the child in the box that is me, but can also be a child that is hidden somewhere. And But there is one piece that I really made that the Holocaust was in my mind and I wanted to identify myself with the Holocaust victims. And I put my uh, the first digits of my ID number or the social security number because I wanted to identify with the Holocaust victims and it was a very difficult process to do. Each sculpture is differently made, but there are times that I do not, I'm not capable of doing what I want and I'm looking for another way but I'm not giving up easily. Art is the right thing to do when you're talking about peace and coexistence. And the story behind my, my sculptures is usually a very personal story, but what I'd like very much is to move from the personal uh, memory to the collective memory and make everyone who watches or look at my sculptures bring in his own story, his own memories, his own feelings, so it is very personal, but I hope it can be personal for somebody else as well.